All right, YouTube. Now, if you are running custom firmware on your 3DS and you are trying to launch a game, an NDS game, a Nintendo DS game from your home screen, uh, then you're probably going to be using a program called NDS Forwarder, uh, which does a great job, but one of the things you may find irritating about it is that opposed to a regular uh, Nintendo DS cartridge, um, it's going to show you an NDS bootstrap uh, screen. This is taking some time because I'm loading the game up for the first time, but you're going to see it pop up in a second. And there it is, and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to take your SD card from your um, Nintendo DS and insert it into your computer. Once you're here, you're going to want to go on the folder, go to the underscore NDS folder, and then you're going to have a file, it's called NDS Bootstrap, and this is a configuration file, a .ini file, and it has a line called cache fad table, and you're going to want to change this line from its default value of 0 to a value of 1. And then you're going to want to save the document and then close it and eject your SD card and place it back into your Nintendo 3DS. Now, in order for this change to take effect, you're going to have to boot up the game one time. And the first time you're going to boot up this game, it's still going to show you the NDS bootstrap screen. So wait for that to happen. And then once you're in game, you're going to close it down the game and then just restart it again from the home screen. And the second time you start this, you're going to see that the change has taken its effect and that the bootstrap menu is not going to, uh, not popping up anymore. And you're going to launch uh, directly into the game the way you would on a regular NDS cartridge. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial to the end. If it did help you, um, please like the video and also consider subscribing. I will be putting out more videos in the future uh, and fixing some of the production issues such as the audio. Uh, but yeah, I really appreciate guys, you guys watching this. And also if this did not work for you, then make sure to leave a comment or a question down below and I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.